What is going on everybody? It is currently 619. Can you even see that? You can't see it. Focus. There we go. It's currently 619 in the morning. Um, one of my roommates is awake, but the other one isn't, so I still have to be kind of quiet. Anyways, today is the first day of school and I'm super excited. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It's gonna be all online because at least for the beginning of school, we're starting online. And the schedule is kind of similar to what we were doing last year when we were in person, where we're having block periods and we're doing one, three, five, two, four, six, alternating uh, Monday through Thursday, and then Friday is all periods. So today is Wednesday, it's the first official day, which means it's a one, three, five day. And for the science department, we don't teach a fifth period. So fifth period is our prep. So I'm technically only teaching periods one and three today and then also advisory, which is every morning and afternoon. Yeah, that's the game plan. I'm gonna take you guys through it. I'm really excited. Now what I'm gonna do is chug some water because we gotta stay hydrated. And then I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I always like to do something active in the morning. Today is not a lifting day for me. I lifted the past two days, so I take the third one off. I think I'm gonna go for a walk and I'll take you guys to a really cool park. Now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I like walking every morning, one, to get outside and wake my body up and do something active, but two, to explore LA because I live in East Downtown and I'm really close to a lot of really cool things. So for example, like, I'm not gonna lie, this walk isn't like the prettiest. <laughs> if you look around, um, <laughs> but it leads to this park that's literally built into the middle of the city. And it's so pretty. Like when you guys see it, you're gonna be blown away. Another thing I forgot to say is that I don't bring like music or anything with me on these walks. And I don't really look at my phone either. I like to just almost meditate, I guess, like just kind of be with my thoughts, just take it all in, take in the city. But yeah, I just like to be present in the moment. to the park it's beautiful literally feels like I'm in this little oasis because I'm surrounded by trees and there's fresh air finally if you guys live in a city you know what I'm talking about the struggle to find fresh air also I took my mask off because there's no one around me so don't worry about it don't worry about it sweetheart Just finished our walk in the park. Now let me show you some Los Angeles street art. And by street art, I mean graffiti. Made it back to my apartment complex, I'm sweating a bit. I walked for 28 minutes and did about one and a half miles. So not bad. Just like, you know, nice relaxing pace. I feel wide awake now. I was feeling pretty tired in the morning, honestly, but feeling good, feeling wide awake. So let's go back to the apartment. <sighs> All right, we're back. It's 7.02. I still have an hour before I actually start school. I think what I'm gonna do is review my slides, just make sure I'm ready to go. I might actually show them to you guys too. And I am parched, so I'm gonna chug some more water real quick. That's one 40 ounce bottle down the hatch for the day. I try to drink about four of those. So I'm getting over a gallon of water. Um, but honestly, like hydrating at the beginning of the day helps so much. First things first, we got advisory. So advisory is something that all teachers are gonna have this year. And essentially it's a time for us to check in with and get to know a small subset of the students. And that's like our tribe for the year. Like we see them every single day. We, it's very like socio-emotional, um, restorative practices, culture building, uh, do a lot of fun activities together, that type of stuff. So for advisory, this is um, the plan for today is to kind of get to know each other. So it's always gonna be a quick check-in, see how they're doing. I like to do like a one to four, how are you? Um, but in this case today, we're gonna pick an emoji to check in. Then I'm gonna tell them a little bit about myself, what things I like to do, where I grew up, my family, stuff like that. Um, and then they're gonna introduce themselves. 
I'm gonna go over the bell schedule with them. So actually I can go over this with you guys right now too. So like I was saying earlier, it's gonna be one, three, five, two, four, six, Monday through Thursday. And then Fridays are asynchronous, which means that we do it. Um, asynchronous means that the students are doing their own work, um, not like together. Synchronous means like together. So on Zoom, we're all doing it together. Asynchronous on Fridays, they do their own thing. So we assign them like a quiz or something to take. And they do that on Fridays. The only thing that's together on Fridays, like in, per in person on Zoom, is advisory. And we have advisory Monday through Friday. So, yeah, so the first day is a Wednesday, like today. Um, Monday and Tuesday were professional development and planning days, so we didn't teach those days. So here's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna have advisory from 8 to 8.35, period one from 8.50 to 9.45, so the periods are 55 minute blocks, and then period three from 10 to 10.55, then brunch, and then I don't have a period five, like I said, the science department, that's our um, prep period. And then we have a final advisory block from 12.45 to 1.30. So I'm done at 1.30 every day, Monday through Thursday, and only teach a bit on Friday. So then the rest of the time in the day is for planning and getting ready for the next lessons. So here's the Google Classroom. I have them like pull it up, add themselves to Google Classrooms if they haven't already, and then there's an exit ticket. And that's it for advisory. Um, advisories are short periods. They're only 35 minutes. So be super chill, get to know you type stuff. And then here is what I'm doing for seventh grade science. So these are the 55 minute blocks of actual science for today. We're not starting content until next week. So this is also just kind of like an intro, get to know you, go over the expectations, um, stuff like that. So yeah, I have like a little intro question for them to answer in the chat. What's your favorite song? While I play some music in the background, um, I go for this quote, I love this quote, guys. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. I live by this motto. It's written by Pele, one of the greatest soccer players of all time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over that agenda. Again, like get to know me. I play like a little YouTube video so they know what I'm about. Um, we go over the syllabus, we go over like email etiquette, Zoom expectations, I give them a little tutorial on how to use Zoom. There's some really cool features like raising your hand, saying yes or no, so if I'm doing we can check for understanding, they can easily respond to that, um, which is really cool. We're gonna do breakout rooms so they get to uh, share with each other and get to know each other, and then there's a quick quiz. And that's the plan for the day. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. It's 7.10, I got about 50 minutes, and I think what I'm gonna do is stretch because I always like to stretch in the mornings. I don't know about all of you, but when I'm sitting at the computer for hours, I get really, really tired and sore. Like my back just gets, just like tightens up. So I'm gonna do that. And then I will probably read for a bit before school starts. Very inflexible, so stretching is something I'm working on. It makes me feel a lot better in the morning. The last thing I'm gonna do to prepare my body for sitting on the computer for hours is use my lacrosse ball. This thing is a game changer and I'll link it below along with all my other equipment. This like, oh my gosh, I use it to literally dig into my back because I have knots of tension in my back and I dig into them. my physical therapist back when I went to physical therapy would tell me to use this so I'm gonna use it for the next few minutes no 730 morning routine is pretty much done honestly guys like, I can't tell you how important that is like yes I could easily wake up at 730 eat breakfast and then hop on my calls my Zoom calls for the day, but getting up at six just gives me that personal time, that time to really just invest in myself and taking care of my body, doing my stretches, getting out there, breathing fresh air, getting exercise, like eating right. All of these things just help get my mind right, get my mentality ready going into the day so that I'm ready to crush it. I need to sneeze. Dang it, it was a false alarm. Oh, I hate when that happens. I'd rather just sneeze, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go to the living room and read on my iPad for the next like 20 minutes. All right, we 
got like 10 more minutes left. I'm excited, let's do it. I'm gonna make sure that my Zoom is all set up, make sure like emails, if students are emailing me and stuff, like I'm on. So I'm gonna spend the next 10 minutes just like being ready. I'm trying to find the Bulls intro because my advisory, we're like the 97 Bulls. We're gonna be amazing. To kind of hype us up, set the mood, you know? This is it, this is it, this is the video. I'm gonna play this during my advisory. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn off the camera now because I, can't, I am not gonna record this. Just finished advisory, that was so much fun. It, I'm honestly so excited, my kids are awesome. And it just feels so good to be like back in it again, you know, like back teaching, getting to meet my new students. I'm super excited. That was great. Honestly, it actually went really smoothly, like computer audio worked. I was able to play some music. I played a video for them. Now I get a little break and then I hop on to my first period of science. All right, so it's 2.40 p.m. I've been editing for a while. Before this, I had a meeting with my grade level. We just kind of debriefed, talked about what today was like. It was so weird. It's such a weird year, honestly. To answer the second part of the title of this video, is distance learning going to work? The short answer is, I don't know. But honestly, we're gonna make it work. Like I'm really excited to see all of the different innovation that's been happening. The collaboration that I've been seeing at my school where I've been working with other teachers, we've been sharing ideas, we've been sharing resources, we've been coming up with lesson structures and all like, cause it feels like we're all basically first year teachers again, like in a way, you know, because we're using a new platform that none of us are familiar with. I'll ha I mean, I'll update you guys as the year goes along, but I'm honestly really excited for the innovation that I see happening. In terms of how much students are gonna learn, what we're gonna see long-term, I think all of those results we're gonna see, uh, it's not gonna be visible necessarily right now. It'll be like years down the line, we'll see how COVID-19 has impacted learning long-term. And I hope that it's not too disastrous. You know, I have to say like after today, I'm really, I'm really optimistic. I feel like there is a lot that we can do with technology and I'm really proud of my students for showing up and like being present, being engaged on the computer because I know that's a challenge and they're, they're young kids, you know, they're 12 years old, but they're really, they're putting in the work and they're doing it. And I, you know, I, I really love them for that. I'm really proud of them. I'm so excited to get to know them guys. Like at, at the end of the day, that, like that's what this is about. It's about building relationships and the learning will come. The learning will come with the relationships once we have um, relationships built. So I'm just excited to get to know my students. Uh, my advisory is dope. My first two periods that I taught today were a lot of fun as well. So tomorrow I get to know the next three groups of kids and just go on from there. Keep building relationships. Keep, uh, you know, just gotta maintain that positive mindset, that growth mindset, know that I gotta be flexible, I gotta be willing to change, so, you know, try to figure out the best ways of doing things, listen to the kids. I'm gonna be sending out surveys throughout the year to kind of get feedback from them of like, hey mister, this is working for me, this isn't, like, you know, stuff like that so that I can adapt my curriculum and the way that I teach to best support their needs. Yeah, with that being said, I'm super excited for this year. Let's get after it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to smash thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe if you are new because I post videos every single week. I will see you in the next.